Race two, day two. Next up is uh, Phillies Juvenile Event, the Breeders' Cup, over one mile and a half a furlong for two-year-olds. Chulassi for James Forrest is one. Two is Landlady for Paul Rose. Three is Lingus for David Robson. Four, Night and Day for Joshua Sutherland. And five is Quickening Queen for Darren Howes. Just five of them line up here, these two-year-old Phillies. Mile event on the dirt track here at Arcadia. Big crowds. There's the gates. The bell's gone and they're away. It's a fairly even break, as we'd imagine, with just the five runners here. Past the winning post. The previous race. It's Quickly Queen the Grey that's first there. From Chulacy in second. Landlady Night and Dan Lingus. Last three. Everybody's in for some money here. And it's Quickening Queen that's going to lead them round the top end. Quickening Queen from Tulacy. Landlady Lingus, night and day. Six furlongs to go. And still, Darren House's Quickening Queen would like to be there at the end. Leads by a couple from James Follis's Tulacy. We've got David Robertson's Lingus. Night and day for Joshua Sutherland against the fence. And Landlady just on his outside. So with just four and a half furlongs and just over half a mile left to travel, it's Quickening Queen from Tula Seed. Lingus makes up a little bit of ground. Night and day and the landlady are covered up and waiting to move. But it's Quickening Queen that still leads us. Inside the last half mile, Lingus, Tula Seed. Landlady and Night and Day start to make up a little bit of ground now. And look for a bit of room there. Night and Day has got himself caught up against the fence. But luckily enough, Tula Seed's pushed through, allowing a bit of a gap. But it's Quickening Queen still in the lead. Leads by a length as they swing left hand and line up for the judgment. Just over two furlongs left to run, so it's Quickening Queen. Tulacy Night and Day on the inside makes his move. The outside is Lingus and Landlady, but it's Night and Day that's got the gap. Inside the furlong and a half, and it's led by Night and Day. On the outside is Landlady. Quickening Queen's going backwards. Lingus trying to make a challenge inside the furlong now, and it's Night and Day. Night and Day from Landlady. Quickening Queen's going backwards. Lingus, Night and Day. I think he's going to hang on to this one in the final half, but here comes Lingus on the inside. Another Quickening Queen again, but it is Night and Day that takes it from Landlady in second. And Lingus hung on for third. Quickly Queen was fourth and Tulacy was fifth. So a good win there for Josh. Takes the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies event. Just by about half a length from all. Oh, a Stewart's inquiry in progress. Ooh. Did he push through? You get many DQs. But we'll have a quick look. No, nope, Night and Day hangs on to it from, for Joshua Sutherland. Second was Landlady for Paul Rose. Third was Lingus for David Robertson. Fourth was Quickening Queen for Darren Howes. And fifth was Tulacy for James Follis.